Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Shalom, saints. Shalom, 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 peace. However you want it, you're going to get it here, man. It's DSTM. Don't shoot the messenger. It's your brother, Mathai Aquar. First name, IQ is all the same. Praying that everybody's well today. It's hump day. You know what time it is. We have halfway through the week trying to make it to that blessed Shabbat, that rest day. Lord willing, everybody's well. Um, you know the routine, man. Y'all came to the house. You know how I get down. I, I, I try to keep it clean here. So uh, do your brother that solid, man. Wipe your feet before you come on in. I got the plates ready. This, the, the, the food is ready. All you got to do is just come on in. Be kind. Wipe your feet. Slide on in. Hit the like button. Let's get the algorithms kicking. You see the headline. It's true. Uh, U.S. companies are expecting 50%. Listen, 50% of U.S. Uh, firms and corporations are expecting to lay off or have layoffs within the next 12 months. You heard right. A um, couple weeks back, I played the video. We talked about it economically, where things is going as far as um, Babylon and its dissension into pure hell. Jerome Powell, the head of the um, the financial sector, known as the Federal Reserve, said that there's going to be easing unemployment. We just talked about it in the last DSTM. They have to uh, reduce spending. They have to reduce the flow of dollars in the system in order for this inflation thing to stop. But honestly, they don't want inflation to stop. They need complete collapse. Remember, the plan is to build back better so they can have a great reset. Okay? Can't build something back if it hasn't been destroyed yet. Thing is, is once this thing gets destroyed, there's not going to be no building back better. Let's be clear about that. Um, also got a couple of other interesting uh, articles, man. When you talk about Esau being the vilest, profane creature the most I created, you're going to see today. In Germany, they are in the midst of protesting. Uh, for zoophilia, zoophilia to be legalized. And you say, IQ, what was zoophilia? Um, we're talking about bestiality. Bestiality. Yeah. They, they want that to be added to the uh, LGBTQ HIV plus community. They want the Z on the end. And uh, what better way? than to um, have the progressives that want to love everybody and anything, that want to be non-binary and want to say, you know, there's nothing that you can um, do or say that isn't off the record. Why wouldn't they allow that? You know, the ped pedophilia is next. This is how we know, man, we're in the last days, man, when Every aspect of civil and moral behavior is getting thrown to the wind. This is why the place got to be destroyed by some of my shock, y'all shot, man. Straight up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, man. All praise, honor, and glory to the Most High. Why you have a shot, man? Strap in your seat belts. Let's get to a couple of these articles. But first of all, let me share my screen, man. Let's share and let's see what's good. Had a good time at the gift this past weekend, man. Brothers and sisters, if you was unable to attend, uh, it was a it was a good, good event, man. Good event. A lot of the brews was out there. And um, you know, we had a good time. Had a good time, man. So salute to everybody that was out there. Um, you know, if time permits and the Lord has us here next year, maybe there'll be another one. If you missed it, you can get on back on the next go round. All right. But other than that, let's go ahead and get get uh started. And uh, not only that, I meant to mention, I do got another article in regards to the war. Um, Great Britain has been told to prepare to go over to Ukraine uh, in anticipation of being 
um, part of the war. And you know, Great Britain is part of NATO. So if they get involved consciously, that means NATO is involved. Now it's becoming more of a world war. All right. Let's look at this first, though. First things first. Let's look at the headlines. You thought I was playing. No, I'm not. Thought I was over exaggerating. You thought I was fear mongering. You thought I was over here making things up, huh? No, no. Talk to CNBC if you, if you, you know, care to uh, inquire. 50% of employers expect job cuts. Survey finds here's how to prepare for a potential layoff. If I had the video queued up, I would play it again. Um, but it was chopped up. I mean, um, in regards to, like I said, Jerome Powell speaking about the future of finance. You know, he was saying, I don't want to call it a recession right now because of we've got a strong uh, employment market right now. Oh, yeah, they're all talking about how everybody's working right now. Slow Biden is passing him, pat, packing, uh, patting himself on the back. You know, how proud he is of how he's got so many slaves and servants working for a minimum wage, still struggling to eat, still struggling to pay their bills. Got massive credit card debt, trying to trying to survive, killing themselves just to live. And they pat themselves on the back as if they've got this big old strong workforce that everybody's balling and everybody's doing well. Well, guess what? The housing market is down. Nobody's buying houses right now. Food prices is up. They're, they're again, patting themselves on the back saying that gas is down for the seven straight week or something like that. But uh, hello, we're, we're still at five dollars a gallon here in cali some places is just now breaking beneath four dollars everybody's still paying more than they ever have been or should be paying on a normal cycle all right so let's not act like this is all great news but let's get to this article here 50 percent of employers are expecting job cuts survey finds here's how to prepare for a potential layoff best buy ford motor hbo max peloton shopify Remax, uh, Walmart, and Wayfair are among the firms that have announced layoffs in recent weeks. I've talked about it and shown different articles of various uh, tech companies that have been laying off, including Facebook and, and, and other corporations have been uh, announcing their layoffs. Uh, globally, Amazon had laid off or expected to lay off, I believe they said 100,000 workers. 100,000. You know, that's globally, right? Uh, 50% of firms anticipate a reduction in overall headcount in the next 6 to 12 months, according to a PwC survey. So can you imagine within the next 6, six to 12 months, 50% of the firms and corporations in America are going to have people knocking on the doors of unemployment. Now, if America is already in dire straits as far as economics is concerned and just trying to remain above water let's look at the debt clock let's look at the debt clock let's see how much uh see how much the great whore is in debt to it's pimp satan a 30 trillion oh okay 30 trillion and counting and now they're getting ready to say well 50 percent of the corporation we're getting ready to lay off and we got to figure out how we can sub uh supplement them with unemployment and some of them you know some of the elder 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 folks that's riding they may be getting forced into early retirements they may try to shut you down so that you can't get uh certain aspects of your retirement benefits you know that that's how esau do you cut you off right before you're scheduled to get your unemployment benefits, I mean, your um, your Social Security benefits cut you off right before your 401k. You eligible for your 401k to get taken out without penalty. You understand? And then you're at an age where it's going to be hard as hell for you to go find another job because you can only find a job because only 50% of the companies left are eligible for you to apply for. So if 50 are laying off, that don't mean the other 50 is going to be hiring. That means you have nowhere to go. That's why in the title it said all hell is going to break loose. Because now you're getting ready to lay people off at a time when food is at its highest. Scarcity of goods is at its highest. Water, drought, water bills are going up. 
You understand? Only thing we're talking about is the cost of living going up and you're talking about people not having jobs. Okay. There are some steps workers worried about job because can do to prepare according to employment and financial experts. What are they saying? Many companies have announced layoffs in recent weeks and others have hinted that cuts may be coming. And even slow Biden uh, is um, contemplating uh, all the federal workers who's working remotely. They got they, He's talking about them coming back to the office. So even that comfortable status that you know many fed workers have been into right now they even they even talking about cutting that out many let's let's finish reading this many companies have announced layoffs in recent weeks and have hinted that cuts may be coming luckily there are steps workers can take to prepare at the end of the day you can't control what's happening in the economy but you can control building a professional resilience according to mandy woodruff santos uh, a career and money uh coach we read about these companies already are among the firms laying off in recent weeks. Meanwhile, 50% of firms are anticipating a reduction in overall headcount. While 52% foresee instituting a hiring freeze. That's why I said, you, you, where are you going to go? The other half is saying we're not hiring. 52% foresee instituting a hiring freeze and 44% are rescinding job offers. You know, when they, you know, you, when you was on Monster and you was on Indeed and you was on, you know, all these various companies looking for jobs and they said we're hiring, apply now. They're, they're erasing and scrubbing those off of those websites. When you had an a interview scheduled and they call you and say, uh, sorry, weren't able to hire at this time, uh, contact us in the future. You know, hopefully the position will open back up. That's happened with my job. Hiring freezes, everybody that, you know, temps that they had, they had to let them all go in July. And now there's a freeze and we're understaffed. So that's something else to consider that those of us who, you know, do remain employed. And don't get me wrong, it's a necessity of evil. I mean, it's a necessity. If man shouldn't work, neither should he eat, right? So I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High for having a job, being able to provide for me and mine. And you should as well. But guess what? Once the workforce starts getting chopped down, that means more stress, more hell, double the work, you know, minus the pay. I believe they've been talking about um, discussing pay cuts for those that do work remotely. So everybody's going to get hit one way or the other. So jobs that were once available are going to be rescinded and taken off the table. You could be on your second interview. Happy as hell thinking you are, you almost got it. You right there. And then they say, you know what? Sorry. We had to take that off the table. We can't afford you. That's all coming. According to a PwC survey of 722 U.S. executives fielded in early August, these are executives' expectations for the next six months to a year and therefore may evolve, according to Bushan Sethi, co-head of PwC's Global People and Organization Group. So they're working on uh, maybes, tech layoffs and hiring fees and continued amount. Here's a wrap up of some of the biggest names hit. If you notice uh, stocks got hit again. For those stock stock market aficionados, you probably been seeing a lot of red of late. The crypto's getting rocked to, again too. So you know this place is falling down, man. But didn't we hear that already? Didn't we hear that already? Uh, Revelation 18. It's on its way. It's on its way. Revelation 18, verse 2. And he cried with a mighty, mighty voice, saying, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen, has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. This is why Babylon has fallen. Because of all of the debauchery, all of the wickedness, all of the evils, all of the uh, disinformation and lies, all of the oppression that they've done to the children of the Lord. The habitation of devils, the habitation of lies, deceit, wickedness, evil, thrives here. It's comfortable here. You remember like the um, the uh, the spirits that was on the man that called Legion in the book of Mark? He said he was, you know, he used to uh, sleep and hang out in, in, the, um, in the graveyards amongst the tombs, screaming, weeping, gnashing the teeth, no chains could bound him. He was wilding. And then when he met with Yahweh Shai, that, that spirits got humbled. 
And they said, son of man, if thou come to torture us before the time, that lets you know that the spirits, these demons, they even know. Time is limited. They're wondering how long and how much of a reign are they going to be able to have here on the earth to inhabit the bodies of the weak and the feeble and those that don't have knowledge of self, according to the word of the Lord, that can be protected by the Holy Spirit. That they know. They said, man, son of man, you come to the torture before the time. And they beg. And he said, no, nah, it ain't time yet. They said, well, whew. and I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing this. Maybe we'll go there next. And he said, uh, they said, well, bid us to go into the swine. You see another comfortable host. This is why the Lord don't want us eating that damn abominable meat. Because these are the type of spirits that flow within that within that animal. Why else would a demon and, and devil's man request to be placed in this particular host? They said, put us in a, a more comfortable host. They said, bid us to be, that we can be cast into the swine. As soon as they did it, man, the swine went crazy and drowned themselves. So in like manner, when it says that Babylon has become the habitation of devils, man, that means that this place has welcomed the spirit of the devil, the spirit of evil, the spirit of deceit. Spirit of wickedness, the spirit of debauchery, abomination. This is the home of it. I don't have to tell you, you see it, you know it. And the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, giving more hint and more understanding on. Where is the centralized place that all nations flow to to uh, do commerce, to make a quote unquote better life that can establish their riches? Right. This is the place of the land of opportunity. Right. Land of milk and honey. This is where all the nations want to come to so they can be all they can be. They want to be a part of America. See, and it says and all of the nations are drunk off the wrath of fornication. Let me drop down real quick because uh, I want to see something like that. Look at verse 11. This is all part of the, the, the end time judgment for him. It says, And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth them, their merchandise anymore. So we're going to see a collapse economically and a cutoff time to where Babylon no longer can service everybody and things is not going to be as, as peachy as it used to be. Are we not seeing that right now? Economically, with this, with this whole situation, with the inflation and the $30 trillion debt, do you understand? All the merchants that they, they all looking like man, America ain't got it like that no more. America ain't got it like that. Let's look at Mark. Oops, locking. Let's look at that 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 understanding one time. Well, you have a shot having to cast out them them swine. I mean, cast out them demons into the swine, right? Uh. We're going to read this through, through real quick. All right. It says, And I came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with the unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been oft, often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Can you imagine the type of spirits that was on this cat, man? That he was just so possessed, so strong. He's busting out of chains, fetters. Nobody could bound him. Nobody could subdue this guy. You're talking about a cat like, you know, looped out on PCP, angel dust, wet, whatever. You know, maxed out on, on like, roided out on this stuff with these spirits and demons on him. Verse 5, it says, and always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. That lets you know also that people that are into, like, the, the sadomasochism, uh, the ones who they, they call themselves cutters because they, um, you know, try to seek uh, relief from all the emotional pains that they're going through. So they cut themselves a little bit. That's a spirit. That's a demon on them. Matter of fact, I seen a recent article of... Uh, T.I., 
T.I.'s daughter uh, doing that. And she says she did it because, or she does it. I don't know if she currently does it, but she definitely um, has experience in doing that. And she says she does it because she has a lot of anger. So she takes it out on herself rather than somebody else. Well, she needs to seek out the Israelites. She needs to wake up so she can understand that's a demon and that's a spirit that's on her. Crying and cutting himself with stones. That's the stuff she's doing. Go look it up. Matter of fact, see, I'll be getting thrown up. I say something, I gotta I gotta show it. See, look at this. See, and that lets you know, too, man, that, 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 you know, the fame, the wealth, the money, all of that does not equal happiness. T.I.'s daughter, Deja Harris, says she self-harms, so it's current, because she has a lot of anger to release. And this is the poor girl right here. Okay. So, you know, know that that's a, a, a real thing. So here we are. We see this man, Legion, dealing with them spirits on him. Okay, but when he saw you, how far off he ran and worshiped him. See, that's the only way you're gonna get them that spirit up off of you. You got to humble yourself to 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 Hamashiach Yahweh. You got to start embracing the laws and the commandments, right? And that's what it says in Revelation 14 12. It says that we have to not only keep the faith of Yahweh, but also the commandments. So when he seen Yahweh, he came and worshiped him, meaning he came and humbled himself. He was in repentance. And he cried with a loud voice and said, what have I to do with thee, Yahweh, the son of the most high God? I adjure thee by the most high that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him not, Shalaki, and he besought him much that he would not send them out away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, All the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Yahweh gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand. And were choked in the sea. Mm. Two thousand damn demons was in this man, and they went crazy and drowned themselves in the sea, man. Once they hit them, once they hit them swine. All right. So uh, we're seeing here why we understand and know America's on its downfall is because it's been prophesied. This place is going to fall. It's become what? The habitation of the devils and every foul spirit. All of the merchants of the earth at one point was making all kind of money. And now they're going to be lamenting and mourning because they can't get all of the money and all of the wealth and all of the glory that they were once been able to get sucking it all out of the great whore. Okay. Uh, I'm going to finish this up a little bit and then we'll, we'll move on to the next thing. They're focusing on what they can control set these set of employers they're dealing with geopolitics supply chain issues inflation war in ukraine all these of uh, uh factors all these factors for which they have to determine what their strategies are despite those negative indicators other data suggests the labor market remains strong employers added 528,000 payrolls in july remember that's when they were voting you know that's when jerome powell and, and slow biden was out there patting themselves on the back about how great the, the job market was right but in that same breath, Jerome Powell said, we're going to have to have some employment uh, easing. In other words, there's going to be layoffs. So it's, it's good right now. Yeah, we're, we're going to make sure that people are working. Everybody feels good because we do have um, November primaries coming up. Got to make the Democrats, you know, we got to make them look good. Right. So after November, you know, expect expect some 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 heads to get uh, chopped. So what we got July, August, November, that's three months. Three months after that is when it, when all hell breaks loose. They said between six to 12 months. So we're talking about the first, uh, the end of, end of this quarter. So you got November, December, January, February. 
of 2023 is when they're going to start rolling everything out. This is why everybody, you know, they, they're going to, they, they're trying to tell you how to prepare, but you know, I, I'm not going to go all the way into this, this, the whole article uh, for time's sake, but you guys can look it up and you can, you know, do your own research, figure out what you are planning on doing. If anything at all, I don't know who knows whose jobs are in, are in, um a potential straight if you're in the loop of your job and you're hearing the rumbles and the rumors you know you know what to do or you know what's coming all right employers added 528 000 payrolls in july beating expectations and marking a full recovery of lost jobs during the dvog 91 pandemic the layoff rate hovered near record lows in june while job openings remain historically elevated see th this is the descent the deception though because here they talk about the job openings but this is what is happening to them same job offers 44 percent of those got rescinded but they out here pumping it up as if oh no they you know we've been having every, every jobs is opening go apply and then when people do they end up telling them oh that that's actually off the table actually we don't have that open anymore actually uh we can't you know we had to close that position out okay uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Everybody can go check that out. Uh, so you can kind of see for yourself really what's happening, uh, economically, man, and how it's going to impact people moving forward. Um, you know, you're talking about second as 15 starting to kick in, um, which we've covered ad nauseum. You should be damn near reciting this verbatim by now, right? These are the type of things that's going to be happening and how, and you, you, you know, we wondering, well, how and when is this going to be people invading each other? People, you know, uh, uh, sedition among men, you know, a uh, man, the designer going to city, not being able, uh, people, you know, ramshacking their neighbor's house for lack of bread. What we're hearing about it. We're seeing how these things are going to happen. Behold, thou shalt speak into the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. So Ezra is being instructed to tell these words to his people, which we emphatically know, according to the word of the Lord, is the children of Israel. We are the ones that's going to hear and understand the words of prophecy. Psalms 147, 19 and 20 tells us that as well, which I will put in my mouth. Right. So it's coming from the Lord. This isn't man made, made up conspiracy prop. No, the Lord said, you tell everybody this. You're talking about a man being divinely inspired by the word of the Most High when he's just like in a trance, receiving prophecy, writing these things down, and causing them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Okay. Um, we know about this. Behold, said the Lord, I'll bring plagues upon the world sword, famine, death, destruction. Wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. I mean, that goes without saying. And their hopeful works are fulfilled. So we're seeing all of this stuff. All of this stuff is clear, right? Um, verse 12, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. We ain't talking about ancient Egypt. That place had been washed up and, and, and gone. How do we know that? This is talking about the future Egypt. Verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So we ain't talking about ancient Egypt. This new Egypt, this new renaissance built after the spirit of Egypt, according to Revelation 11 and 8, is America. The new house of bondage. The new place where Pharaoh reigns supreme over the world. And it's getting hit with plagues. Go look up and find out. It's a, they're saying all 50 states now have uh, cases of monkeypox. We don't even hear about it anymore from Africa. You don't even hear about it no more when it came from Europe. Ground Central Station is Egypt now with this thing. Let's, let's document that just to make sure. Okay, so look, look, one, one, one witness, monkeypox cases have been recorded in all 50 states. Two witnesses, monkeypox have reached all 50 states. Three, 
All 50 states in the U.S. have reported monkeypox cases. Okay, are we clear? All right. So this this place has been hit. And then it said, when what's going to happen? Egypt is going to mourn. So now we're seeing the downfall of Egypt. We're seeing what's happening to America. This is not the land of the, this ain't the land of the free, home of the slaves. I mean, you know, come on. This place is in mourning right now. No matter how much of your favorite rappers running around with a fake uh, wad of bills and a money phone. Matter of fact, another, uh, 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 another, um, well, it wasn't a rapper, but his friend. It was an attempt on the rapper's life. Just got put to death over the weekend uh, over in um, Beverly Hills, of all places. Uh, what's the brother's name? Quando uh, Rondo. Quando Rondo. I believe that's his name. And a, an assassination attempt was made on his life, and his friend died in the process. So, you know, even that train is constantly being hit. And you little Negroes, you know, swear you want to be the next rapper. You want to be the next one. You you, you already you putting the uniform on. You're setting your image up. You're getting the face tattoo. You're putting tattoos all over your body. You're getting the, 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 all the piercings. You're doing all kind of madness. You got the skinny, skinny jeans on. You're sagging, showing your ass crack. You got the double cup in your hand. Weed in the other. Fake chains on the rings. Faking it till you make it. Just to sign up for a death sentence. Come on, we got to wake up. So it says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. So this place is going to be smitten with plagues and punishments of the Most High. Don't ask where, why, and how. How come this is happening? Good old America. Oh, what, what, can we build back better? Can we make it great again? Hell no. That's over with. So, you know, when you're seeing all this stuff here, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, the men shall be afraid, a man shall have no pity on his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Well, it's going to start here. Unemployment, people not going to have the money, cost of food going up, supply chains going down, fertilizers going down. We just got to talking about how farmers are being compromised into destroying crops and having to sell off their cows because they can't afford to keep them and maintain them you know it's all bad it's all bad all right keep aware see what's happening we're gonna move on check this out it's in again this is in germany this is in germany let's read the tweet first okay after all the lgbtq plus infinity groups were done marching and bringing the property value down in germany the people who like to have sex with animals came out to show that they're proud too, and here they are. So here's the zoophiliacs out. Look out, they deep too. These are all the ones who love the, who, who who love bestiality. Listen to this maniac. Look at this BDI demon right here, man. Listen to him. In case you missed, he said, I once had a sexual relationship with an animal. A male dog. Are you hearing this? did you hear that at the moment he's living with a german shepherd b word as if this is a rip okay let me let me let this go Relationship to an animal, and so for me, it's even easier to have some sexual contact with an animal than with a human. <laughs> 
And their rights are being protected by Esau. You see the police out there protecting their right to protest and march and want the LGBTQ plus HIV community to add a Z to the acronym so that the zoophilia, zoophiliacs can be included in the sexual revolution and the transformation of sexual morality in the world. This is like... Look, man, unbelievable, unbelievable. Look at what Job, Job says this. <laughs> Job 31, it says, Now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdain to have set with the dogs of my flock. Why did I say they're younger? Because the scriptures say that Esau is of the basest of men, the lowest. You know, we know the scriptures say the elder shall serve the younger, right? Well, who came out first? Esau, we're the younger. We ain't talking about birthright. We're talking about in moral, civil, uh, natural law, scriptural law, maturity. Esau is, the, Esau is the younger. And he carries himself as such. And Job said, I wouldn't even let this damn heathen be around my dogs. Now we see why. Now we see why some of their propensities uh, to lay with and sleep with or be around animals. Hebrews 12, 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. He said, man, unless you can find one who's more of a fornicator and a profane person as Esau, find him. You understand? Because those two labels was placed upon him because of the spiritual nature that he's in. We know in Deuteronomy tells you that he's from the he's he's cut from the vine of Sodom, whose who's, who's grapes are uh um uh, are poisonous, right? Paraphrasing that, I think it's in in, in um Deuteronomy uh I want to say chapter 30, in like uh, down in the uh 20s. This this is this is why the Lord said, man, you got to get rid of this cat, man. Malachi 1, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Most High, Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. So if you want to know where Romans 9.13 is coming from, it's coming from Malachi. Paul's quoting from the Old Testament. Imagine that. I mean, Romans. Did I say Romans? Hopefully I said Romans. Romans 9.13. Uh... Listen, Paul is quoting the Old Testament as much as you, you know, bootlicking uh, Christians that keep wanting to talk about the Old Covenant. The Old Testament is done away with. We don't follow that no more. The same apostle that you love quoting from and, and are reading from that I'm reading from, he's quoting from the Old. How can you disannul that? What is wrong with you? Reading on, it says, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage for waste for the dragons of the wilderness. See, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. See, that's, that's the build back better. <laughs> you know, slow Biden and them talking about they're going to build back better, need great resets and all that. The collapse of America has already begun. It's been underway for a little while now. It's just furtherly spiraling out of control. But they said, we're going to build the desolate places, say the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Listen, this is where the beginning and the endings of all wickedness starts. If you want to know where and how, uh, you want to know patterns of evil, wickedness, he said, look no further than Edom. That's the border. That's where the line gets drawn. You know how every border has a beginning and an end? You know, when you cross the border of Mexico, that means you're at the end of Mexico and you're at the beginning of America. You understand? That's where Esau is, the beginning and the ending, drawing a line of all wickedness. If you want to know who, where, what, how, and why, look no further than the history of the so-called white man and what he's done throughout the earth. 
and the people against whom the Lord remember the people, not the person. Genesis 36 tells us Esau's name was changed to Edom and breaks down his whole lineage. The people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. I mean, is there a season of that? Is there an end time for forever? Is there is there a time where that expires? I mean, somebody tell me, help me out. Because if there isn't, then the Christians and, and, and the uh the sympathetic, ignorant folks that's out there in the world shouldn't be talking about, well, what about the white man every damn minute? When we're talking about salvation-based scripture, when we're talking about justice, when we're talking about punishments. First thing our people want to do, what about the white man? Christians want to say, oh, God loves everybody. He's got his mercy for everybody. He wants us all to repent. He wants us all to have the kingdom. He wants us all to glorify his name. He wants they shut up. The Lord said that there's a people known as Esau and Edom who he has righteous hatred for ever with. Hello? Is this thing on? Define forever and then get back at me. Okay? Anyway, we see why he's hated. They're out there protesting, man, trying to lay with, lay with dogs, man. Let me close this out. One more article. British soldiers are told to get ready for war against Russia and prepare their loved ones. So if we want to know, is the war in Ukraine uh, simmering down? Is it still hot? No, it's getting hotter. When British soldiers are being told to be prepared for war, that lets you know that NATO is even closer to joining the fray publicly and not by proxy anymore. Okay? That's big. British soldiers are told to get ready for war against Russia and prepare their loved ones. Warrant officer Paul Carney says soldiers should prepare their families for the possibility of being sent to Ukraine to fight Russia in the war, which has now been going on for six months. The Army's top, quote, other rank soldier says troops must be ready to fight Russia and should alert their loved ones to a potential conflict. Warrant officer Paul Carney warned that the UK military was now, quote, shaping itself to meet the threat from Russia and was ready to counter any aggression. The time had come to prepare families and loved ones for the possibility of being sent to the east. He said the world has changed since Vladimir Putin's invasion in Ukraine on February 23rd, six months ago on Tuesday, and British troops, quote, must be prepared for new realities. Wars and rumors of wars still bubbling in the midst of us. Brothers and sisters, I pray that you all remain well. I pray that you continually fear the most high, keep the commandments. Stay solid in your walk. Stay firm in your, in, in, in your planted faith, okay? Lastly, two last things. If you haven't already, man, make sure you wipe your feet, man. Help your brother out, man. Let's stop the madness. I need your help with getting these algorithms going and keeping the uh, the video alive and notifying uh, others. I just, I just just ran into one of the brothers uh at the gif and he was like man are you still going live i ain't seen you in a while and i was like yeah what you talking about he was like bro i'm I, I ain't seen nothing i said man they've been turning off people's notifications and they've been unsubscribing people from our channels i said check your check your notifications check your subscriptions and see what happens and he ain't the only one a number of people that hit me up asking me the same thing or wondering uh if i had a, a dstm this week or something like that and i'm like yeah you didn't see and they're like nah check your notification yeah you know what man they unsubscribe me man they turn my notifications off so you know youtube plays dirty there's only so much we can do in regards to trying to maintain keeping up with the flock and uh making sure that the information is available I need y'all help in order to make that happen. I can't just do it by myself. The only thing I can do is gather the information, serve up the food, you know, put the plates on the table. You guys can come and eat, but the rest of you can uh, do a favor and say, hey, I'm eating good over here. I'm getting some good, interesting information. Brothers being a solid watchman for us. Let me share this. So if it's in your heart and on your spirit, man, you got to 
a platform or you got a, a, a email contact list whatever send it to your folks send it out spread the word all right if you haven't already check your subscriptions make sure you subscribe like all that other stuff you know if the spirit moves you to do so if not it is what it is man the work will continue and uh i know what i need to do prayerfully you do too outside of that man israel y'all be well i'm out of here be blessed lord willing we'll reconvene again this shabbat shalom